Missile defense systems have never been more important, and the recent events in Israel are a clear reminder. After Iron Dome faced an overwhelming number of rockets, struggling to keep up with the barrage, the U.S. stepped in by sending its powerful THAAD system to assist. Now, with both systems in play, many are wondering, could THAAD be the answer to dealing with more advanced, large-scale missile threats? Or does Iron Dome still prove its worth in this defense duel? In today's episode, we will break down the capabilities of each and see if THAAD has what it takes to shine brighter than the battle-tested Iron Dome. First, let's review the impressive track record of Iron Dome. Since its launch in 2011, Iron Dome has been Israel's first line of defense against incoming rockets. Developed by Rafael Advanced Defense Systems, it's designed to intercept short-range threats like rockets, artillery shells, and even drones. Iron Dome comprises several components, including radar, command and control systems, and interceptor missiles called Tamir. The radar detects incoming threats and calculates their trajectories within seconds. If a threat is headed for a populated area, the system swiftly launches an interceptor to neutralize it. This real-time decision-making ensures that only the most dangerous threats are engaged, saving resources and avoiding unnecessary interceptions. While Iron Dome operates at a shorter range, typically between 4 to 70 kilometers, it excels in its specific focus on defending urban areas from low-altitude threats launched nearby. In Israel, Iron Dome has become essential for countering frequent rocket attacks from Gaza. With a remarkable success rate of up to 90% in intercepting incoming rockets aimed at populated areas. This effectiveness stems from its ability to assess the threat level of each projectile, prioritizing the most critical ones to keep civilians safe. Now, let's turn to Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, the THAAD system. Developed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. military, THAAD is designed to intercept and destroy ballistic missiles during the final phase of their flight. This capability is crucial because it helps protect large areas from medium to long-range missile threats. THAAD uses a hit-to-kill method, relying on advanced radar and interceptors to take out incoming missiles at high altitudes up to 150 kilometers above the Earth. With a range of about 200 kilometers, it's capable of shielding wide regions, making it perfect for safeguarding military bases or entire areas from long-range attacks. What sets THAAD apart is its effectiveness against high-speed ballistic missiles, which can travel thousands of kilometers and reach impressive altitudes. The system's track record boasting near-perfect success rates in both tests and real-world situations, highlights its reliability and precision when it counts. To truly understand how THAAD and Iron Dome stack up against each other, it's important to explore what makes each system unique. They were designed to tackle different types of threats which directly shapes how they operate in real-world situations. Starting with detection and tracking, THAAD features the ANTPY-2 radar, a top-of-the-line phased array radar system. This advanced technology allows THAAD to spot and track incoming missiles from long distances while keeping an eye on multiple targets at the same time. Its impressive resolution means it can even differentiate between actual warheads and decoys which is a big plus in complicated situations. On the other hand, Iron Dome uses the ELM-2084 radar. 
This system is also a phased array radar, but is tailored for tracking targets at various altitudes. Although its range doesn't quite match THAAD's, the Iron Dome radar is agile and designed for quick target engagement. It can quickly identify incoming projectiles and determine which ones pose a real threat to populated areas and which ones can be ignored. When it comes to engagement strategy, THAAD operates as part of a layered defense system, often teaming up with other systems like Aegis and Patriot. Its goal is to intercept long-range missiles before they can hit their targets, providing a solid defense. THAAD systems are typically deployed in areas with significant missile threats, such as South Korea, where they aim to directly counter North Korea's ballistic missile program. Meanwhile, the Iron Dome takes a more tactical approach. It prioritizes rapid response times, ensuring that threats approaching populated areas are intercepted as quickly as possible. This system can swiftly switch between targets, addressing the most imminent threats first. Both THAAD and Iron Dome have impressive mobility and deployment capabilities. THAAD systems can be transported by truck, making them easy to reposition based on strategic needs. This flexibility allows them to adapt to different combat environments and protect forward deployed forces effectively. Similarly, Iron Dome batteries are mobile and can be set up quickly for localized protection. Each battery comprises several launchers, radar systems, and a command and control center, ensuring rapid deployment in response to threats. This capability is particularly vital for Israel, where short-range attacks are a constant concern. When comparing Thad and Iron Dome, the economics of defense is another key factor to keep in mind. Thad tends to be on the pricey side, with each battery costing between $1 billion and $1.8 billion. A typical THAAD battery includes around 95 soldiers, six truck-mounted launchers, 48 interceptors, one radar system, and a fire control and communications component. While the number of launchers and interceptors may vary, the high cost is often justified by THAAD's ability to take down high-value targets and protect vital infrastructure during large missile attacks. On the other hand, Iron Dome is known for its cost-effectiveness. Each Tamir interceptor is priced at around $50,000, making it a more budget-friendly option while still delivering strong performance against short-range threats. So, which system packs a bigger punch? It's not really about choosing which one is better, it's how they work together in a strong defense strategy. When Thought and Iron Dome are deployed side by side, they create a formidable shield enhancing protection against various missile threats. Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching.